and it is that field there. And 1.51. I think that's one tank, one trailer load as well. And then he's 30, the last one. Yes. Plot 30. That's going to be two cartloads. So we'll do 110 first, get paid for it. And then we're going to have to take two carts over to field six. I think you you could just take a load and dump it on the edge of the field. I don't think you can fill the car from a pile of manure. It has to come out of a manure pile. Uh, yeah, one of the manure um, storage units things. Because otherwise, I could run over there with the uh, with one of our carts full of manure and hopefully get the entire field spread without having to track back to the farm. But the Deutz is out and uh, the cart's not as big as this thing. just occurred to me we do have the the output for the flower is full and I'm fairly certain that oh actually we've only got 6,000 extra so it's not like we're filling that up completely yet but we will get to the point where the flour mill fills up and stops production and we'll have to move the flower at that point. That's usually, I'm trying to avoid that so production remains on all the time and I can just turn it off when all the production is complete. But, uh, we're not close to filling up capacity yet. Mm. A straight line seems to be a problem for me. Especially when I'm drinking cold tea. Oh. So, yeah, I had actually hoped to finish all of the hedge rework, uh, at least around our fields yesterday but I got back from the doctors and I was so totally wiped out I actually fell asleep for a couple of hours so didn't have enough time to finish that job but uh, hopefully I will get the opportunity to do most of that this coming week and wrapping the bales and all the other things that we need to do I do wonder how people like me driving through their towns with a uh, 35,000 litre wagon full of manure. It's going to smell of the countryside. This tractor is barely adequate for this. I do need a bigger tractor. I can't afford a bigger tractor, but I do need a bigger tractor for this. And the problem with bigger tractors is they're either tracked or um, yeah, single track. So things like the uh, is it the RTs? or their flexible frame, articulated frame, which means that, uh, how do I get in here? It looks like I might be able to get in there, or maybe not. Uh, no. Well, that kind of sucks. I want to come in from 
Where do I want to come in from? Oh, up there. Okay, maybe I can get in here. Yeah, or, it, or it's an articulated frame. I really, really don't like articulated frame tractors. So we will not be getting a quad track. However, we might get a Serian because that's just four wheel steered rigid frame. And I do, it is a big prefer bigger preference of mine. So I don't have access, let's just fling out the boom. All right. So as I said, I don't think this will use up the entire tank. Should leave us about 10,000 left over. So we can drop that on the other field. And then... Uh, maybe get away with just one, one additional tank. I guess we'll see. that or I could dump the uh, the lime out at the store and uh, buy a pallet of fertilizer and just finish off that field. I don't want to be left with any fertilizer because if that happens we've got a slight issue with uh, transporting stuff back to the yard. Sorry about that. I am back. Mrs. Osa is getting ready to leave. And, uh, 84% done. Yay. gonna have a lot left. We can stop now. Thank you. Oh. Well, it's five thousand. It's fifteen percent of the tank. Anything to attempt to reduce the number of trips I have to make would be better. It, it would not be good if it takes seventy-five thousand liters to uh, do the final field. Because then I'll be kicking myself for um, I'll be kicking myself for having to make three trips rather than just two. So honestly don't know where this other field is. Number six. Um, that's the main road. Oh, it's, yeah, it's that one there. It's easy enough. So that's got a fairly easy entrance. We can nip in there, throw out what we have on board, go back and get another load. I'm, I'm still envisaging I have to go back to the farm twice. I don't want to go back three times.
and the risk with the other field, I mean, we use 30,000 litres on that other field, so um, I would probably not have had that much in the trailer if I'd done six first. Anyway, I, I do need to move that uh, those bales off that field. About 18,000. We've actually got a good amount of money. I'm, I'm far more comfortable with the level of cash we have now than what we had when we started. We were down to 6,000. Um, 3,090 um, after we'd done something. Can't remember what we did. I think, I think we repaired we repaired the Deutz and yeah that was pricey. So oh, dude really just like real life. Okay, six is directly in front of us. Maybe I should just spread manure over the road in front of that car just cut us off. Because that would just be fun. Okay, we'll get as much as we can here. As I said, I don't think I don't think we're gonna get this done in one tank. And still running. Still running, still running. Actually, our tractor could do with a little bit of maintenance because it is below 70%, which means its wear and tear progressively costs more per percent that you fix. in we'll do a little bit of maintenance we'll fill the track the, the trailer up and go run the rest of that field but we do we absolutely know that the longer you leave it on maintenance the worse the uh, cost is exponentially worse so I want to fix that now Okay. <laughs> and should have enough room. Oh. Nearly didn't remember the fence was there. Okay. Okay. okay, we will fix the tractor. I'll probably fix the Fix that too, it's cheap. Oops, too many button pushes, there we go. Yeah, Mrs. Osa had planned to wake up at 9.30 this morning to get ready to go out at 10.30 and she set her alarm for 10.30, so uh, she's in a little bit of a rush this morning. did say she would be 
picking the kids up at 11, so time to go. And of course, teenage Osa hasn't got ready to go yet. this opinion that we're leaving at 10.45 means 10.45 is the time I need to get my coat, my shoes, brush my hair, um, go to the bathroom. No, 10.45, we're leaving at 10.45 is the time we're walking out the front door. Anyway. Oh, come on, tractor. You can do this. I didn't notice how much we did on a 5% load. What do we want to be at? If we're at 12.5% complete, then this entire load should finish the field. If we're less than 12.5%, we're going to have to go back to the farm. And if we're more than 12.5%, we are comfortably going to complete the field without having to go back. So, I guess I could, I could cheat and check before we actually start the next stage. things we could consider is uh, again purchasing a plot of woodland chopping all the trees down maybe replanting them because we do have that tree planter that I have never used in spite of plans okay oh yes because a yield sign means nothing in this world Yeah, we're definitely going to need two visits. Well, that should be somewhat fine, I guess.
was on Tuesday that believed it was a Friday. So, so the bottom of this field is a little bit low, so we're going to have to spread into that bottom corner rather than out. But, uh, for the most part, I don't think we're doing too badly. We're down to 44%, so 5,000. Shut that down and I'm going to turn into the field there. And I think we're coping over okay with this tractor. We've got over 500 horsepower in it, but it really doesn't like the hills. But it's what we have, and we'd need about half a million to get a tractor that's the proper size for this manure spreader. Anyway. anyway this is nearly done. Contract 76%. So uh, we'll end up with 84% done. Probably put about 12,000 litres of manure back in the tank um, just to finish the field off, I think. Should be about 86, 97% done. Oh, so I really do only need a tiny amount of manure. Yeah. 5,000 is about 8%. Whoa, there we go. Get born off a car, because why not? So yeah, a little bit more than 5,000. I can, you can over manure a field. There is nothing to stop manure from being spread. So if we end up with too much manure in the truck, we can just keep driving until it's empty. It won't increase the nitrogen on the field. It won't cost us any money because we don't have to pay for it. But it is kind of an easy way to uh, use up some of your fertilizer when you are able now as i've said because these fields haven't been or have just been planted so there's seed in the ground there's no growth i'm allowing us to spread manure but when it comes to the second fertilizer application on these contract fields we're going to be doing liquid or solid probably liquid because the liquid sprayer has narrow tires whereas our solid tank has wide and will kill crops although on contracts it doesn't well we'll play that it does so we just need to uh, make sure that we get the right thing done the right way So, we'll go, I guess, 10,000 litres of manure should see us good for this field. And then we can come back with an empty truck. And I missed the uh, Land Rover again. I wonder how much... Uh, that's actually looking kind of empty. 166,000, nice. So, take it up to 10. That'll do. And of course, with, a, with less load, the tractor will negotiate the terrain a lot easier. 
I mean, normally I wouldn't have got one of these manure spreaders. I, I find the Roland equipment, as a mod, the Roland equipment is really nice. But as a piece of equipment for the farm, it's a little bit pricey. But when you're getting it at 50% off, 50% off at Roland price is still better than everybody else's price. So uh, it's not something I'm too worried about buying used. And also it's a piece of equipment. Um, it doesn't have an engine in, so it doesn't cost a lot to fix um, compared to a tractor. And just because it's on the ancient side doesn't matter the paint works a little bit scratched, but it's still working and we use it for three hours a year, whereas we use a tractor for 50 hours a year, at least, at least it seems like. Um, it, it's just, you know, you repair it once per year and you use it for a couple of hours and you're not putting a lot on it. Though that said, I mean, the, it's already lost 1% of its maintenance. The tractor's down 2%, but then it's past the 50 hour mark. But still, it's. We could. You no, know, you can't do a lease to own on a used piece of equipment. So, uh. If I decide to buy the vent, we have to buy the vent. Whereas, if I get a new tractor, I could lease to own it for a short while. So long as you don't put 20 hours on it, and you don't put 36 months on it. 36 or 24. So long as you don't put a... I think it's 36 months on it. A lease to own vehicle will cost you 102% of its normal purchase cost. So it's not a... It's not a disaster. If you go over 24 hours or 20 hours, that's the point where the value of the vehicle has hit rock bottom, but the repay price is still quite significant. Okay, gonna run over here. We'll do this bottom corner. Because that's the way the hill drifts and is uh, causing our tractor a few issues climbing up. Okay, we've finished the contract. We've got 6,000 litres left. I'm just going to spread what we can where we can and get the field looking nice and done. Because like I said, I just want the manure gone for the most part. And we are empty. Turn it all off and claim the prize. 3,800, good. Okay, we have <coughs> done that field. So that's all the fertilizing, all the lime, none of the spraying. Sadly, the spraying contract. I'm not sure it glitched out on us. It's it's sort of the uh, the farmer who owned the field decided to do it himself, but it was still listed. A 